But I am here with another um, craft. Mela, this time is something that is going to take you a bit more time. Okay? And needs a lot of preparation as well. So, what are we going to use is a, a shoe box, okay, that you don't use, of course. And you're gonna cut off the top part. I cut it already. Okay? And I would like you to paint it in blue. Inside light blue and outside dark blue. I only paint, painted the sides, okay? And the back I left it white because it's not gonna show. And this we will place it, so we will place it like this, okay? Standing. Well, so this what is going to be, it's going to be an aquarium, okay? So, then we, we will need um, glue, okay? Scissors that we're gonna use a lot. We need some string, okay, that can you can you can part into pieces, okay. We're gonna use green paper. I didn't have green paper, so I I painted it. I painted half dark green, half um, light green. This is a paper bag, okay, part of a paper bag which I cut into pieces. You have some which are like small rectangles and one big rectangle. This is the bottom of the box, okay, it's here. So basically you place the box standing on top of the bag, you draw a line and then you cut it and it fits perfectly, okay. And that will go inside here. Okay, I still need some. Okay, so you have the the view of the water, the sea, and this is the ground. It looks like sand. Okay, then I will glue it. And I'm gonna use um, some of my recycled paper, which I have referred to it before. These are tea boxes, okay, and cereal boxes. And I have found some shells and some stones that I have picked up before I had them at home, okay? Then what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is for the background, apart from the water, I will need some grass, some seaweed. And I have drew my seaweed at the back of the paper, then I'm going to cut it.
so here i have the fish all hung up at different levels as you can see okay with a knot on top and i'm gonna show you as well the kind of knot that i did which passes at the back as well okay so that they can remain straight they don't keep on turning i have put on my more seaweed i have put some real pebbles that i got some seashells more to decorate and the name again with recycled paper and I use the same technique I used for the coral by folding the bottom part as a whole this is it it's not an easy task okay but it's very interesting and I look forward to see your response if you have any questions write to me in the comments below and i try to help you the best i can okay so this is another water project and i think it's a very nice decoration that you can have at home thank you for following and i look forward to see what you come up with bye have fun see you next time